also incorporate a little bit of a rowing action so that we have some rotational work, we're getting a little bit more pulling activity, and we're getting that cross pattern going from one side to that down to the opposite side glute. So all the rules for an isometric position, back extension, and glute extension are going to be maintained here. Position the pad so that it hits you right about those front hip bones, the ASIS. Make sure you're not going into lumbar extension or hyperextension. You just want to have a nice neutral lumbopelvic region. And then from there, you're simply going to do a one-arm row. So all you need is a band and something heavy enough to anchor the band. A lot of times this is a good partner-assisted exercise for one person to hold the band while the other one's executing the row. Now even though you only have the band on one side, I advocate ghosting the other arm because you're going to get a much better pitch between the shoulder blades as you go through your one-arm movement. So make sure you feel glutes as your primary sensation as far as holding your posture and then execute the row, driving the shoulder blades back and then forward and make sure you're not going through any change in hip or low back position.